I want to talk about the property of entanglement. We talked about in class how two particles could be entangled uh, and their properties could be really tied together no matter if they were vast distances apart. This happens in quantum systems but I just want to demonstrate it today uh, with some cards. And this is an ordinary deck of cards. Completely ordinary in every way except one and that's that it has the property of entanglement. I have taken uh, care to entangle it, something you can learn to do if you pass quantum mechanics. So in any sense, take for granted this desk deck is entangled. What I'm going to do is just cut the deck in half and discard half the deck. And with this I'm just going to deal this entangled deck into two piles. There's no video editing tricks here or anything. And, you know, I didn't invent this trick either something you can probably find elsewhere on the internet, but I think it demonstrates the property of entanglement nicely. So now we have two piles, which come from the same deck, the same entangled deck. What I want to demonstrate is that measuring one of these piles is going to collapse the wave function describing this other pile into a certain state, and those states are going to be related. So what I'm going to do with each of these half decks now is just deal a certain number of cards face down and turn the deck over. And I can do this an arbitrary number of times. I can deal an arbitrary number of cards here before flipping. I can stop after two times, or I can keep going. And with the other deck, I'm going to do the same thing, but not the same number of times, and I'm going to deal a different number of cards down. This can be completely random in how many cards you put down. It doesn't matter. And just to demonstrate that it's totally different than the first one, we'll do it more times. So maybe I'll stop there. Now we're going to measure deck one. It's a 10. We immediately know that deck two is also going to be a black 10. This is a queen. This deck immediately is going to be a black queen. We've measured a five we get a red 5. We measure a black 9, we get a black 9. And so on and so forth. Each time we measure one of the particles, we get the corresponding value in the other half of the entangled deck. This is the way the quantum world works.